Hello there. Today's video is about the wonders of next style in Adobe InDesign, so let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a new letter sized document. Once that's created, I'll grab my text tool and make a text box on one side of the page as we don't really need to occupy the whole page. Next style is good for something that has repeating data, for example, like the data we create in the Excel sheet. So I'm going to type in some data here and I'm going to include four categories. First is going to be the product and then the product code. And then the third one is going to be color and the last one price. We need to be very careful here because if we change the sequence of the categories, the styles will be applied to the wrong category. We also need to be careful about the lines each occupy. So for some reason, if my product name occupies more than one line in the first instance and the rest occupies only one line, it will be a problem. So we need to ensure that whatever categories we import, they maintain uniformity. Now I'm going to make some adjustments just to the first set because for the rest, we'll apply the next style. So let me change the font color of the product name to blue. I think I'll change the font color of the product code as well. So let's change that to red. And I'm going to leave the rest to as it is. Next, I'm going to increase the line spacing between the text using the space after option on top. Once I'm done with my first set, I'm going to go to window and then styles and click on paragraph styles. Now I'm going to select my product name and click on create new style button at the bottom of the paragraph style panel. Let's rename this to product. You may have noticed that I've also added the serial number one, which is optional. Of course, I've added it just to make it easy to remember what comes first and what follows thereafter. So let's double click on product and under basic character formats, just check the underline box and uh, hit OK. Now I'm going to select my product code and create a new paragraph style and rename it to batch code with a serial number two and hit OK. Next, select the color and create the third paragraph style and rename it to color with the serial number three. And lastly, select the price and create the last paragraph style and rename it to price with the serial number four. Perfect. Now our paragraph styles are all set. All we need to do is give them a sequence and this sequence is called next style. Let me also rearrange my paragraph styles as per the serial number so that it becomes easier to give sequence to them. All right, now let's click anywhere outside of the text box so that nothing is selected. Then double click the product paragraph style, which is uh, the first one. For next style options, I'm going to select serial number two as my next style, which is the batch code and hit OK. Then I'm going to double click on the batch code paragraph style and select serial number three, which is color as my next style option before hitting OK. Next, I'm going to double click on the color paragraph style and select price, which is serial number four as my next style and hit OK. And lastly, I'm going to double click on the price paragraph style and select product, which is serial number one as my next style. I do this to create the loop and then hit OK. All right, it's time to apply the next style. So let's select the text box and take your cursor to the paragraph style panel and right click and select apply one product, then next style option. The moment you select it, you'll find the entire list has the style applied to it. Not just that, if you try to type in another product and the rest of the categories, they will have the style applied while typing in. 
All right, guys, that concludes our session. I think so far we've covered all the styles there are in Adobe InDesign. So if you've missed any of the styles, do check out my InDesign playlist and watch the relevant videos. If you've enjoyed this one, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.